Hi, I'm Dr. Deborah Garrison with Jake, and we have some important information we'd like to share with you. Dr. Berendine, is everything okay in Gandalf's eyes? I could swear this cat went blind overnight. He used to be a great hunter. He could spot a bug at 40 paces and pounce on it before it even knew what was coming. But now he just wants to sit in the corner, and when he does walk around the house, he bumps into the furniture. I mean, what could be wrong? Ben, I'm afraid that Gandalf may have lost some vision in both of these eyes. I was noticing a little bit of retinal bleeding. Has there been any type of trauma that Gandalf's uh, incurred recently? No, he's a totally indoor cat. He lives with my wife and me. Mm -hmm. He has a very cushy life. I was noticing in his chart that he's about 13 years of age. In the past few months, have you noticed that he's drinking more, drinking less, change of activities, anything like that? Well, six months ago, I would have said he was acting like a little old man cat, but he must like the new catnip I got him because he's been acting very much like a kitten now. And he is more active. He's drinking a lot more water, and even though he has a ravenous appetite, he's actually slimmed down a lot. Huh. Well, what could those changes have to do with his eyesight? I'm suspicious that Gandalf may have a condition known as hyperthyroidism. It's an overactive thyroid. It's a hormone disease. It can cause hypertension. Hypertension can lead to retinal bleeding. Hypertension? Gandalf's a cat. What does he have to be stressed about? And he doesn't eat salt, and I thought salt and stress caused high blood pressure. Well, high blood pressure for a cat can be due to two diseases most commonly, either kidney failure or an overactive thyroid. It can happen to any age cat, but typically it's a middle to older age ones like Gandalf. Was retinal bleeding the only sign of hypertension? Hypertension affects the brain, the kidneys, and the heart. And signs can be variable. It can be everything from lethargy to not wanting to eat to vomiting to seizures. You may see nothing at all. How do you test a cat for high blood pressure? I mean, you can't put a cuff around his little leg. As a matter of fact, I can put a cuff around his little leg. The same techniques that are used for testing your blood pressure and mine, I can accurately determine what Gandalf's blood pressure is. Hmm. Well, how do you treat a cat for hypertension? I mean, my mother has this problem, but she has a medicine cabinet full of medicine. First thing I need to do is determine, does Gandalf truly have hypertension? I'll check his blood pressure. I also want to get a blood and urine sample, send that to the lab, have it analyzed. I may need to take a chest x-ray, abdominal x-ray, maybe even an ultrasound. Depending on what I find will help dictate what we're going to do to treat this kid. It may be everything from medication, diet change, to change of lifestyle. It's impossible to predict which cat may be affected by this potentially fatal disease of hypertension. Routine twice yearly examinations is the best way to help protect your cat. Concerned about hypertension and the diseases that can cause it? Just ask your veterinarian. Really? Oh, we'll figure it out. Really? Thank you for watching our video. Please take a moment to visit our websites. Dr. Deborah Garrison at the Tresh Week Veterinary Clinic. LoveYourDog.com, LoveYourCat.com, TVet.com, MyPetCareTV.com, and PetDocsOnCall.com. Thank you, and we wish you and your pet a happy and long life.